Hello folks, this is the week, this is the lab for Google Trends uh, for the week. And I am going to show you how to utilize Google Trends in order to do better research, to understand how things are working in the United States or even the world. And uh, we're going to crack right into it. This lab shouldn't be so long. The objectives of this lab are to one, examine data from Google Trends, and two, export data from Google Trends into Google Sheets. So, since we are a social work course, we're going to focus on social work topics for Google Trends. In order to get to Google Trends, all you need to do is open up Google. You just type in Google Trends, click on that, and you should be good to go. We'll close that out. So, and this is the way Google Trends work. You can literally search for anything. Like it's just, you know, suggesting a quiet place. So we can just take a look at that. And it shows you people search interest in a quiet place, which I believe is a movie. Um, so, that being said, let's go ahead and change this out. And we're going to go back to the thing. So we're just going to type in what we're interested in. And in this case, we're going to uh, do a search on interest in drug overdose. I'm just going to explore it. Now, what we're going to do here, you'll see the term, and this is a topic. It doesn't say topic, it just says epidemic, but we'll look at the epidemic. All right, and what this is, this is drug overdose and searches in the past day. In the United States, here you see how it's filtered. The United States for the past day, all categories, and, you know, of course, web search. So, we're going to stay in the United States. We're going to go for the past five years. We're going to... I'm going to probably keep it in... Yeah, we'll keep it in all categories. So we can see here, drug overdose search peaked on April 4th, 2021 in the past five years. That is the 100 value. A 100 value is exactly where it peaks at. These are not count searches. These are what you call ratio searches. Remember that, that's the term ratio, right? These are ratio, this is a ratio variable. Meaning, one to one is not an exact thing, but it is a scaling one to one on the, on the same scale. In other words, we know that 36 compared to 100, and 100 is bigger. So let's go ahead and cut this down to the past year, and I'll show you this will be, there will be a different 100 point. 100 point takes place right here on March 19th through the 25th, that week, for 2023. If we go back to the past five years, was that March 20 something? 23. It's not even close to what the interest was. Yeah, it's right there. It's not even close to what the interest was back here. Meaning, drug overdose interest has actually been declining, and it's been about it's been about normal, honestly, throughout the except for right here. It makes you wonder what, what was causing that search to go over. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at why on April 4th through the 10th, 2021, what was exactly going on in those searches. In order to get this, you got to go to the past five years, custom time range, and I, I believe it said April 4th through the, the 5th of 2021, April 4th through the 10th. We'll go through, this. we'll go that whole two-week period, actually. We'll go to the 17th. Okay. Now we're going to snapshot this period in time. And there's the high point. Again, same spot it was. It's exactly on April 9th. So what are people searching here? Did DMX die? DMX death. So it looks like DMX dying 
cause drug overdose searches to go up, which, you know, hey, that makes sense, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is all about DMX. So that's how you use Google Trends. Now, let's go for something else. What will people search for when they're in trouble? Um, well, you can find searches like, um, let's see. We'll go with we'll go to our nursing faction and say hospital near me. And this be a search term. We'll go past five years. Okay, hospitals near me peak in August eighth, twenty twenty one. On the holidays, actually, it's declining. That's good, right? So let's take a look in the past 12 months here. Do we see a similar thing? It's spiking in the summer? Yeah. So people, looks like based on this, during the summer months people are, get hurt more or need a hospital more, so they search up hospitals. So how do we export this data? Well, there's this little arrow right here. Click this. You get a download, and then it'll say multi time on whatever number it attaches to here. So you go over here, you open up, go to Sheets, do a new one, hit File, Import, Upload, Browse, click it, and import that data. And you'll get, once it thinks, your Google search data for hospitals near me. So let's say that we want to compare two things, okay? Let's say that we want to um, compare um, searches for historically. Mm, no. Let's uh, let's go for trying to figure out a good search on this one. I'll go with the one I did in person class two women's shelters because I think you know people searching for women's shelters is a good indicator, and you can see here during the you know the winter months you know, during the holidays. Women's shelter searches go up. Same deal. Uh, when people are searching more frequently for these things, it typically means they're more in demand. And this is just what people are typing into Google. You can do the same thing for topics like suicide, uh, help. When does suicide help pop in? Much like the day that we saw in class. You know? fall and spring, but the uh, dating class was, you know, summer, which is an interesting uh, comparison. So that's all you need to do for this lab. What I need you to do for this lab is as follows, and this will be in the instructions as well in the text. I need you to look at something in your topic, your research topic that you're doing, type in that search, then I want you to download, as I showed you using the arrow key here, that search data results the past 12 months we only only interest in a year worth of data, okay? And then I want you to upload it into a Google Sheets just like I did for the hospitals near me. This has to be your topic. Do not duplicate exactly what I'm doing on this one. And then uh, upload uh, that Google Sheets into your lab submission portal. And that is all you need to do for the third lab of the week. I will see you around.